Hadija Nachibu son is down with malaria and doctors are trying to stabilize him. He was rushed to this hospital after his condition got worse. Hadija is shocked that malaria was detected from the tests done. Her son sleeps under a treated mosquito net to prevent infection, but he still got sick. I have a feeling that it is no longer working, and I think I'll, I'll need to buy a new one. Because you can see the mosquitoes around me, around the, something that is not, that was not there before. But I think uh, nowadays, I don't know if it is the environment, but the mosquitoes are very many. Hadija's son is among the surging cases presenting with severe malaria in Uganda. Malaria cases have more than doubled in this clinic since the start of the year. From just five patients, they now receive more than 10 patients, and some of them are severe. Doctors here say some patients are not adhering to treatment, which worsens their condition. Health authorities say they are noticing drug failures, with the malaria parasite taking long to clear, despite treatment. Clinicians at this clinic are struggling to treat patients, even with less severe forms of malaria. Patients are not complying to what you tell them, that this treatment is supposed to be given for, like after every eight hours. So you end up getting the, giving the patient once a day, which in the long run may cause resistance to this drug. The next time this patient comes to not respond, the health ministry is concerned that patients are now presenting with very unusual signs. People getting gangrene, uh, people getting hemoglobinuria, a lot of acute renal injury and respiratory distress. We traditionally had mostly people having cerebral malaria, uh, but now many people need to be uh, transfused. Scientists at the Malaria Control Program under the Ministry of Health are also studying a new species of mosquitoes suspected to be responsible for the new infections. The Ministry of Health is now advising hospitals to add a second-line treatment of quinine in cases of severe malaria. Scientists are also improving the performance of mosquito nets with stronger medicines to help contain the resurgence of malaria in communities.